hello everyone today in this uh, video lesson we are going to solve a problem the problem is like this there is a car that's weighing 1000 kg on a slope that's making an angle 30 degree with the horizontal if that is the case we need to calculate the component of the weight that is parallel to the slope so let us try identifying a problem imagine a inclined plane it is given that the angle of inclination in the problem is 30 degree or an angle theta and there is a body whose mass is known for us 1000 kilograms on the inclined plane then I need to calculate what is the component of the weight that is parallel to the slope so as being this is the slope I need to know what is parallel to the slope now I can say because this body is having a mass m it will have obviously its weight we know that due to acceleration due to gravity weight always acts in vertically downward direction now i can say being this angle is theta and if you notice the direction of this mg this is vertically downward direction but that's not perpendicular to the inclined surface that we have taken into consideration this is what our inclined surface therefore I can resolve this mg into components see being this is theta this is also theta this will become the adjacent component of mg this is called something like resolution of the vectors we are trying to resolve the vector into components as this is angle theta we know that this angle is also equal to theta I can further resolve the another component of mg that's nothing but equal to mg sin theta this way so we are trying to resolve this mg into components if you notice the vector is going away from the origin therefore the components also will automatically go away from the origin and these two vectors will be always perpendicular to each other so it's very clear that the force that is acting along the inclined plane is nothing but equal to mg sin theta that's what he is calculating what is the weight of the component that is parallel to the slope so i can say the weight that is parallel to the slope parallel to the slope is nothing but equal to we can write mg sin theta we know m is given for you in the problem as 1000 kilogram g is given as 10 theta is given as sin 30 we know that sin 30 is equal to half so 1000 into 10 into half that's nothing but equal to 5 so the force acting is nothing but equal to 5000 newton along the inclined plane suppose if someone has asked you so if you have noticed this mg is applying a force on the inclined plane in the downward direction it's an action the inclined plane applies a reaction on the body obviously in the upward direction that is actually called normal reaction if someone has asked you in the problem what is the normal reaction I could have me telling you that value as mg cos theta so again m is 1000 g value is 10 cos that is root 3 by 2 so its value is 5000 and root 3 newton and just I also want you to make aware that if the body is sliding down because of the mg sin theta if the surface is a rough surface friction comes into the action which acts against the relative motion as the relative motion is in the downward direction it's clear that frictional force acts in a upward direction how much is that frictional force suppose if you are interested to calculate you probably need to know frictional force as mu into normal reaction mu value shall be given in the problem 
and I know normal reaction is nothing but energy cast state. With the appropriate values, we can calculate the frictional force. But you probably will be learning in the friction chapter that this is the maximum possible frictional force. Maximum possible frictional force called as something like limiting friction. And if the mg sin theta, just to make you aware, we will be anyway learning it in the further chapter. If the mg sin theta is less than that of the maximum frictional force, frictional force will be self adjust and it is becomes equal to the applied force mg sin theta and the body remains in the state of rest itself. Body remains at rest itself. Anyway, we will be discussing them in detail in the friction of chapter. Right? Thank you for watching and we will be continuing this discussion further when we come back to the video lessons further.